Greetings to all of humanity. It is really a joy. It's a pleasure to be out here in nature and bring this message of emancipation to you. A message that would set you free if you would only apply the teaching in your life by learning to look inwardly to discover your true identity to be your divinity. That's the reason why I want to speak to you concerning how the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. For the Bible is not literal, neither is the Bible secular history. So in doing so, I want to point you to the Ten Commandments and explain to you what they really mean psychologically. I would have done the first commandment, which says that you must have no other God besides me, okay, and no strange God, okay, and the second one which says that you must not take the Lord thy God name in vain, and I show you that all of these commandments are speaking about you because the Bible is your own biography when you learn to interpret the Bible psychologically. Now I'm on to the third commandment which is speak about the Sabbath to remember to keep the Sabbath day holy. Now for us to understand the meaning of the Sabbath day, when we look at the Bible psychologically, we have to first realize that everything starts with a thought. Everything has to first be an idea. And in Genesis, it's teaching you the creation process, how thoughts create reality, and how every action has been stemmed from a thought. Therefore, when you understand that nothing could be created and nothing can manifest or wasn't for us a thought, then you will understand St. John 1 and 3 where it says that all things was made by him and without him wasn't anything made that was made. You come to realize that that him is a personification of the human imagination, teaching you that everything in this world, it was for us a thought, it was for us an idea, it was for us imagine. Now when you understand that imagination is what creates reality and that imagination is the creator in man, you'll also understand that the only creative power is the power of imagining. Therefore, the creator or God in man is your own human imagination. So when you have a desire, especially a burning desire, it is a spiritual sensation and that spiritual sensation is leading you into the process of creation so when you have that spiritual um, sensation or that idea or that desire you're not seeing it in a physical way you're not handling it but you want to see it come alive that's the reason why it tells you that the world became flesh Okay, that you can handle it and you can contact it. So you now understanding that a word is a thought expressed, and you understand in order to express that thought, it takes action. So because you believe in the invisible, you take action. And when you take action, believing that that which is invisible will be made visible, you are acting in faith because faith is having an understanding of how everything comes from the invisible world to the visible world. It is having an understanding of the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. And how whatever you impress upon the subconscious mind, it will bring forth. So my brother and my sisters, when you have a desire and you believe in your desire by believing in yourself and believing in the creative power that is within you, you believe that you're going to create your world, you believe you're going to create your reality. And when you see that which you are so desire to create, when you see it before you and you can handle it, you see, you see it becomes flesh. You see it becomes tangible. You can now touch it. You can now feel it. You can now smell it. You can handle it. You can contact it now by the five senses. But first, when you had the idea, you couldn't contact it by the five senses. And so when that happened, you now will come into peace. You will come into rest. You will no longer have the desire to create because you are already seeing the manifestation of your creation. 
So my brother and my sisters, when you see the manifestation of your creation, it brings you into rest, which is Sabbath. So it is referred to symbolically as the seventh day, or the day of completion, or when you will have complete your intention because you would have seen the manifestation. It is the same principle of sowing and reaping. So in Genesis is teaching you what it means to sow and what it means to reap and teaching you that whatever seed you sow that also shall you reap. So whatever your environment be, uh, would be, it is the world that you are creating. So where you live, the work you do, everything that is taking place all around you, it is as a result of your thinking because you are the cause and the result is the effect. So it's teaching you about cause and effect. So it's teaching you that you are the creator, but to, in order for you to create, you have to first have a desire, a burning desire. And when you have that burning desire, that burning desire, it is without form and it is void. But the spirit must move upon the water. The spirit must move upon that which is believed to be true because water represents truth. So when you have your idea and you believe that that idea or that intention that you have, that it, it, it is the truth that you are receiving telepathically and you act upon it, then it will bring forth a manifestation then you will realize that imagination is what creates reality. Then you will understand the secret of creation and understand why it is said in Matthew 6, 33, that if you seek for the kingdom and you discover the kingdom, you discover the secret of creation. That's the reason why he said all these things will be added unto you. Because the kingdom of God is within you. And that's Luke 17, 21. So you have to look within yourself. You have to believe yourself. You have to trust yourself. So most people are lacking self-revelation, self-knowledge, because most people do not know who they are. But when you know who you are, you come to realize that you are one with the Creator and that you can create your reality consciously if you will understand that your thoughts is what normally creates your reality. You'll be more careful about your thoughts. You'll be more careful about your thinking. You'll be able to monitor your thinking throughout the day. Because you will realize that every thought is a vibrational frequency and it is going out and everything also is energy. So everything is energy, vibration and frequency. So you understand that every, every, every thought is a vibrational frequency. And whatever, whatever thought you send out, that is what is going to come back to you. That's the reason why you're told in Isaiah 55 and 11 that my words will not return unto me void, but it will accomplish that which I will send it to. So when you send out your thought, it's going to give you a harvest. Okay, and when that harvest comes and you see what you have created, okay, you come into rest. You will no longer have the desire to create that which you have already created. So it's called the Sabbath day. You come in to rest. But to close here, let me say that those who believe that the Bible is literal and believe that the Bible is secular history, they believe that the creation story is speaking about seven 24 hours a day. Not realizing that the entire Bible is just one great psychological jammer and it addresses the human psyche. So, yes, my brother and my sisters, all I'm doing is pointing you to look inwardly and letting you know that these commandments is teaching you that the Bible is your own biography. But for you to find out that it's your own biography and all these commandments is teaching you how to believe in yourself, how to look within yourself, how to trust your higher self, and how to use your creative power, which is the creator in man, which is your own human imagination. You have to accept the fact that all the stories in the Bible, they are all allegories. And that the stories in the Bible, that they are all parabolic and symbolic. You have to also realize that the Bible has no reference to anyone who existed thousands of years ago in the actual event that took place on earth. It's all have to do with the human psyche. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I want to say to you, you can't say that you're keeping a Sabbath day 
right, and you're keeping it holy and you're blessed and sanctified when you haven't created anything. Okay, so having the right understanding is going to help you to know that each and every time you have a desire and you benefit from the manifestation of your desire that you are fulfilling the scriptures and you are walking in all of the commandments because the commandment is teaching you how to walk with the universal laws that controls the, the, the universe and controls the rest of humanity. So basically my brother and my sisters, it's all about you. You are the creator. Therefore, my encouragement to you is to go ahead and create what you desire and learn that imagination truly creates reality. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much and I want to encourage you to support this channel by subscribing or you can like or you can comment and you can share this message also. Also, I want to encourage you to follow me on Instagram at Black Mad Guru and to check out my website, blackmadguru.com. Now, I want to remind you that this message I bring to you is the single eye message of self-realization of which Matthew 622 says if your eye be single your whole body will be full of light that's the reason why I always give you the symbol of the single eye letting you know that when you have the experience you come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and that it is the dawning of a new day in your life for without the sun there is no life and there is no light and without the human imagination there isn't anything made that was made for the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. And the sun is what powers all of humanity. Therefore my encouragement to you is to use your mind power, which is your solar power, to achieve your every desire. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.